Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of explaining equivalent fractions. This is standard 3.3G in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 12 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have three different strips here. This first strip is just going to represent one whole. So we know that we are dealing with proper fractions that are less than one whole. So that's what this first one does. Just gives us a frame of reference. So we've got strip A and strip B. And we have to figure out first, are they or are they not equivalent? Because those are our options here. And then if they are equivalent, y or if they are not equivalent y so that's why you see our topic here is not necessarily finding equivalent fractions but explaining equivalent fractions so first off are these two equivalent because if they are that's going to help us at least eliminate two different answer choices so let's name these fractions first we've got strip a and we need to come up with two different numbers here. So we're going to look at the numerator and the denominator. Those are big words for third graders, but uh, they're words that we will use again and again and again. So our denominator is always going to be our total number of pieces or total number of slices, total number of squares, just the total, whatever it is, because fractions look differently. And then in this case, we are looking at the number of shaded. Uh, the numerator is going to always represent the number of pieces you're looking at, and it's going to change from fraction to fraction. In this case, it's shaded. Sometimes they might be green. Sometimes they might be red. Uh, the different colors uh, are just change based on whatever the problem gives you. In this case, we're looking for the number of shaded. So if we look at strip A, we've got one two, three pieces shaded. So I'm going to just kind of write that down here in this very last strip since it's white. That's our numerator. We've got three pieces shaded and then we've got one, two, three, four pieces total. The pieces total includes the pieces that uh, we already counted once for the number of shaded pieces. So this is the fraction three-fourths. Strip B, a lot more pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces that are shaded, and then seven, eight pieces that are not. So here's the question. Is three-fourths equal to six-eighths? Well, you notice that both of these fraction strips start at the same spot, which means we can visually look at them. And they both start at the same spot, and they both end at the exact same spot, which means... They are equivalent. So 3 fourths is equal to 6 eighths. And you think, what happens here? Well, I do see some similarities here. Take a look at this fourth right here. Take a look at this fourth right here. You see how those lines line up? The difference are these little ones in between. So it looks like what the eighths did is they took each of your fourths and then they cut it in half. So an eighth is actually half of a fourth because they just took that fourth and they cut it in half. But other than that, they're exactly the same. That's why there are twice as many pieces in the six eighths. You notice how you can just kind of double the three and double the four and you can get your six eighths. Yeah, you take your three fourths, cut each fourth in half and you get six eighths. So why is that true? We know G is incorrect. We know J is incorrect. F says... Because the shaded area of strip B is greater than the shaded area of strip A. Well, two problems here. First off, they're not, it's not greater. Strip B is not greater. And second problem, if it was greater, that would mean it's not equivalent. That means it's greater than. So F does not work. Let's hope H works. Equivalent because the shaded strip of uh, strip A is the same. There we go. It's the same. That's exactly what we need. The sizes of each piece is different, but the total shaded area is the same. Answer is H.